Yes! Alrighty, what's up everybody? My peeps. How's it going, you sexy bitches? Peter fucking Joseph here for another video on this Saturday evening. Pretty much getting close to Saturday night. The sun has gone down. Hasn't been officially dark dark yet, but it'll probably be in the next five, I said next five, uh, 15 minutes. Probably by 7.25, 7.30 be, it's going to be officially dark dark. So anyway, so I guess I will welcome you to a Saturday night video. It's Saturday night. Time to fight. And we got Collision coming up in about 40 minutes from now. Should be a good show. And uh, no Collision next week. Because of the NCAA tournament. And uh, Rampage. No, not on next Friday. It's this coming Friday, I should say. It'll be on Wednesday night. Live. Right after Dynamite. From Toronto. On TBS. At 10 o'clock. But we'll talk about Rampage later. Uh, and then we'll talk about, uh, we'll do Collision tomorrow, because I got a lot of, I got a lot of catching up to do. So, because I've been pretty much sick, and, uh, the last couple of days I've been pretty, pretty much sick. That's why I've only done a couple of, a couple of my reviews. I did some shorts, some, more of my epic shorts on my Peter fucking Joseph channel. Thank you so much for all the views, and I'm not doing it for views, I'm just... Putting them up there, but when they are skyrocketing. Well, some of them are, but some of them are not. But it is what it is. But check out, check out my uh, my channel. Go to my shorts page and just watch the epicness that it is. And uh, that's it is what it is. Don't care. But I mean, don't care if I don't get comments or anything. But I really don't care. But I'm just throwing them up, you know, just to have some content on the channel and um. Not that I have enough, but, you know, you know, more is less, well, they say less is more, but I say more is, more is more, so. More content equals more engagements and more views, not that I need all the views, I'm happy, I'm happy that I got like 6,300 views on one of my videos, 5,000 views, you know, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in a day, I mean, it's crazy, but. I mean, shorts, you know, some shorts don't even get a lot of views, and some shorts that I do get a lot of views, so. You know, like I said, I'm not all about the views, but I'm happy with the the response from those views. But, and a lot of likes, too. And not, and I repeat, not from me. And you can't prove it. But you have eight channels! I don't like my videos, so go fuck yourself. And I'm not—I don't have to prove anything to any one of you motherfuckers, because you can't prove it yourself. Because there's no, there is no video proof of it. So, kiss my ass and blow me. And that's all I gotta say about that. Because you can't keep my name out of your mouth. Simple fucking fact. And it was proven today by another schmuck that I know. But I'm not gonna get to that guy because that guy is a hypocrite. But it is what it is. So people want to call me a hypocrite, that's fine and dandy. I'm a sexy hypocrite too, so thank you very much. And then we move on. Alright, so on this Saturday night, right here on the home of all things rain, the very evil, very dangerous, very fucking scary, and also very, and it is very, oh, oh it is very legend. Dairy, very fucking legendary. PG Rants Channel. So, thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to my channels. All down below. In my fucking pants. Otherwise known as the description box below. Hit the bell. Turn on all notifications. So you, you don't miss anything. Most of you know this by now. But for the new people and all at, at a, that come to my channel. And are on YouTube. And you just see my gorgeous sexy face. with You know. Because I am the voice. Or the voiceless. And I do have the silver. The golden voice. And the silver tongue. For you ladies out there. Such you know who. But I digress on that. Because you can't you you can't do what I do. <laughs> Even if you tried. But it is what it is. I mean I had the voice of radio. I worked in in college radio for pff, like 
10 years, not 10 years, well, well 10 years, on and, you know, on and off during my college days, very successful college radio show, though, though, number one on my college radio, on, I actually had two number one shows on, uh, when I was in Kingsborough College Radio, I had a sports show that I was part of, number one on, number one in the college, number one on the station, too, and I had my, my, uh, then I had a, uh, classic rock show, which then evolved into a, uh, 80s slash metal show, and I had a couple bands on the show, back in my, back in those days, and then when I transferred over to Brooklyn College Radio, number one rated show on Brooklyn College Radio, and on the internet, too, and I'm not making that up. I'm not making it up just to blow myself my head up, but it's it's true. And I've had a couple of bands on that show. Some of them you know and love. Not in this moment. I would love to get them. Not Black Label Society or anything like that. But local indie bands that, uh, well, a couple of them. Well, one of them, they were, they went big and then they kind of fizzled out in the end. Uh, and then um, I had another one that um, I still... I'm still good friends with, with most of the band. We know me, what, well, I'm not going to get into that. That's a personal situation. But we're all good friends still. But in any case, uh, then I have another band that I help, help out. I helped out. And, uh, you know, they're still going here and there. But, you know, just put out there, uh, really the third EP. But I've known them for like 19 years now. It's a long time. <laughs> And the other one I know pretty much since my college days, so. But it is what it is, and, uh, you know, I work in music, and I'm pretty good at it. I know a lot about music, so. Why well, don't you debate us about music? I don't, I don't have to debate you on anything. I would just wipe the floor with you. It would make no point. Why would I waste my time about wrestling or about music? Why would I waste my time? Debating people about the great, the great, uh, the great sport of professional wrestling and music and the greatest, greatest music in the world, which is heavy metal. I mean, come on. I know a lot about, a lot about the 80s, so, because I grew up in the 80s, the greatest decade ever! But, I digress on that. I just digress. I don't have to debate anybody on anything, because, you know, like I said, it's a waste, and I'm not going to debate with, you know, a bunch of potheads and, you know, fucking people that don't know anything, so I'm not going to even go there, so, I'm not wasting my time, I'm not going to waste my time debating with people and talking to people that I could care less about, and that they're not in their, their right frame of mind, that's that, let me move on, anyway, I hope you, everybody had a great Saturday, Yesterday was amazing Friday. 71 degrees. Mm. Oh, it was great. Early spring day. Spring is, spring is not even here. We got like another three, four days officially. But, you know, today was a little chilly. You know, around 60. Tomorrow's going to be like 61. And then down the drain it goes. It's going to get to like 40, 41. I think the coldest is going to get like 41 next week. We're supposed to get snow next week. What? I thought we were done with snow. And I looked at my my uh, my weather app. Next Sunday, Palm Sunday, which is the Trolls' favorite holiday, by the way. Uh, next Sunday, we're getting an inch of snow. An inch. It's pff, an inch. It's basically nothing. And it's supposed to, like, next Monday, the 25th, is going to be like 50 degrees. So whatever we get is going to melt. So, pfft. so winter is going to hold on for about a week, and then hopefully we'll get to, like, what we got yesterday, 70-degree weather, but, you know, great weather, you don't even have to wear your jacket, or, I mean, my heavy jacket, you can wear your hoodie, you know, everything's good, and then pretty soon, pretty soon my favorite, my favorite, uh, Season's coming up, not besides baseball season and, and football season. And as the season of summer coming up, coming up in end of June. So, it's going to be one hot summer. 
and I can't wait for it. Go on my go on my vacations, and I'm pretty much set. And I am going on vacation for you people that don't think I'm going on vacation. I'm going on vacation. You don't want to win. And where? But pretty much to say, by the, by the middle middle of the summer, I'm out here. You won't see me on YouTube much for the summer. So, I mean, I'll still do my reviews, but like I said, pretty much in the middle of the summer, like right near, like the middle of the summer, and then right around Labor Day, I'm out of here. I'm, do my, got my, I'm on my vacation, not gonna do videos. I might pop into a few chats here and there, but that's pretty much it. This is a vacation! Yes, it is, actually. Because you don't know what I'm doing the, re the you know, the rest of the day, so. Ah, fuck here, I'm in. And that's it. Alright, let's get to the video. Let's not waste any time talking about shit. So I know people are going to critique it, and that's all they can do. And um, that's pretty much it. Alright. So, as the title below says on this particular rant. Now, I was rolling around YouTube, and I was watching a video from my good buddy, Deluxe Man. And I will put his video in the description box. And he talked about, he did a premiere, and he talked about something from SE Scoops. Now, I don't frequent SE Scoops. I think it's a horrible freaking website. But there's an article on there, and I'll also put the article down below in the description box later on when I edit everything. Uh, there's an interesting article that I want to rant about. And the article is titled... Double standard WWE talent questioned The Rock's special treatment after internal PG memo. And uh, the sub, uh, the sub uh, headline says, Dwayne The Rock Johnson gets a pass and talent aren't happy about it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The double standards in WWE, just because The Rock throws out a, uh, an S-bomb on live TV. Everybody's like, oh, you can't say that, it's not PG. When are we, are we still in the PG era? We are not in the PG era anymore. The PG era died in 2019. Why is everybody complaining? Oh, wait, guys, we see the TV PG thing on the screen. Yeah, because, it's, I mean, technically, we're still in the PG era because it's TV PG. But in reality, we're not. They can't really label it. They just have to put TV PG and then under it, you know, under the V, L, D, S, V, I don't know, S, S, C, you know, when we watch Skinamax. This, this program has nudity, strong sexual content, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's like TVMA, but still. TV-14, so on, like, language and drama and violence and everything. That's what wrestling does, has drama, language, language, and violence. And everybody's mad. Well, because somebody said ass, or somebody called them an asshole. Or they say, God damn, or God damn. They, they bleep that. That's why I fucking hate censorship as it is. But people are mad. I mean, people that say, God damn it, on a wrestling show. And it gets bleeped. What? You can't say, God damn? You have to, like, kind of like, Ebonics like, God damn. It is so fucking stupid. That's why I fucking hate censorship as it is. Because everything gets censored. God damn gets censored. The word God. God! You know, I'll say like Joey Styles. Hey, Max! God! How can you fucking censor God? I mean, hello? Hello, I mean, come on! What are we missing? Who put this out here? The FCC, or as I call it, the fuck community. That's what it is. 
the, the f I can't even say the word, but, because that's what they are, a bunch of, you know, further communication company, the FCC, who runs everything, including the internet. Oh, you can't say it this on the internet, you can't say that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then people complain about people cursing on wrestling shows. And cursing on the internet. I mean, especially here on YouTube. I, why are you cursing? Why is the, you're supposed to be talking about wrestling? Yeah, it's called a review. So if we want to curse and say, Oh, that guy's a motherfucking piece of fucking shit. We are allowed to say that because we have freedom of speech. If you don't fucking like it, then get the fuck off my channel. And get the fuck off YouTube, for that matter. And social media. Just get off the internet. Because everywhere you go, there's people cursing on the internet. Whether it be in a comment, a tweet, a vine. People are chatting about it. You know, I don't know. But, it is just double standards and hypocrisy. It is just mind-blowing. But it is, it is what it is. But anyway... Let's get back to The Rock, the greatest man in, in the history of doing promos. This guy is cooking, my friends. That boy Rock is cooking, baby! He is cooking! He is roasting people, man. It is crazy. Especially Cody Rhodes, but fuck Cody and fuck his crybaby bitch fans. And fuck him at WrestleMania when he turns on the, on the Tribal Chief. But that's another story for another time. I hope it doesn't happen, but most likely it will. Uh, coming up in three weeks. That's when WrestleMania is happening, so it is what it is. All right, let me get to this article because now I got a collision to watch. Anyway, The Rock is back in WWE and having a great time as a heel, what do you think? And uh, it seems that uh, pretty much The Rock is an open book. He has no rules. He is unscripted, uncensored, well, <laughs> uncensored my ass, you know, whatever. But, you know, he has like, Carte Blanche, you know, was uh, Howard Stern would say, you have Carte Blanche. <laughs> Howard Stern kicks ass, by the way, just want to put that up. Uh, he's, he's one of my, my heroes in the radio realm, but, you know, I kind of emulated when I did my, I know I'm going off tangent, off topic, I'm sorry, but Howard Stern, without Howard Stern, there would, I would be not on radio, I'll probably be doing something else, but Howard Stern to me is like... Jesus of radio. He, he is the man, man. He is the man. I never met the guy. I would I would have loved to meet him back when he was working in New York, but now he works in L.A. on Sirius XM Radio. Oh, by the way, DDP! Too cool. And yeah, I bought, by the way, I, uh, Rosa bought that for me for one of my birthdays. Yeah, she did buy to meet us. She bought me this. The man, GDP, Hall of Famer, by the way. I know did not I did not get it at a goodwill. <laughs> That's what I call it the internet. That's where I got it from. So, <clears throat> so if you think I buy my shit at goodwill, here's to you. Do you think I bought this great shirt at goodwill? No, they don't sell these types of shirts at goodwill. I got it at a con. I got it at a Black Label Society concert a few years ago. And yes, I have met Zach Wild many, many, many times. That guy's that guy's amazing. Zach Wild. Yeah. Just don't uh, you know, meet him in a dark. Well, I wouldn't say meet him in a dark alley, but yeah, that might be scary too. But guy's nuts. Some guy. I met. I went backstage one time, long ago at Ozfest. The stuff he did, I can't even repeat on, on video. The stuff he did is creepy. And no, he didn't flash his wiener or anything like that. It was just crazy, whacked out shit that he does. But he's a good guy, man. Rosa even met him a couple times. I mean, the guy is big. He's huge. I mean, I, I can't show the picture of it. Well, I, can't, I can't even show it. I do have a picture with, with him, him, me, and, and uh, Rosa. And he's like this. He's like grabbing me, grabs Ro and Rosa's like, eh, you know, on the other side. 
I'm like, he's like, almost giving me a headlock. <laughs> she's like grabbing Rosa. Rosa like, Aah! Rosa was terrified that day. <laughs> but it is what it is. I mean, can you blame me? I mean, I meet so many great celebrities. It's just, just what I do, man. It's just what I do. It's what I do. Pays to work in music. Pays to those bands. Mr. VIP. That's why they call me Mr. VIP. A very important Peter. But I digress on that. Can you say the same? No. That's why you're so jealous of me. Makes me laugh. Just makes me laugh. And that's it. Alright. Uh, so anyway. A recent memo emphasized the need for talent to follow PG guidelines on TV and social media. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Uh, despite this, The Rock's use of profanity, like in his recent promo last night, has raised questions among talent about double standards. And they wonder why he's allowed to curse while they can't. Well, yeah, that's a good point. How come he gets to curse and we can't? He gets to say shit and fuck. We can't even say ass and goddamn. You know, like Jimmy Uso. You know he's got a curse somewhere. Roman would love the curse. Roman would love the curse. Even Eli Drake. Yeah! You know, he would he would love the curse. We need that's what we need in wrestling. We need promos just like, you son of a be like, like if you go to an indie show, they curse up a storm. They curse up a storm. Even, you know, yelling at the freaking fans for acting like a bunch of assholes. No, they're yelling at the guy, he's like, he's like, you suck! He's like, yeah, your mom told, she told me, your mom sucks my dick too much, a lot too. You know, something like that. And then they go back and forth, like, you, you are the scum of the earth, you, I, if you get in this ring, I would fuck you up. It's insane what I've seen, I've seen a lot of shit at wrestling indie shows, pretty much since Ring of Honor. From like 2006 on. It is crazy the stuff I hear in promos from all the wrestlers. I mean, Adam Cole cursed a few times. Oh, especially during the suck my dick days in PWG. Mm. Kevin Steen curses up a storm. I mean, I mean, what do you think? Why do you think the WWE didn't want the Briscoes? Because Jay Briscoe curses like a sailor. And they're not cosmetically pleasing. That's why they're a like 13-time Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. Because you know if they went to WWE, they wouldn't even get the titles. Well, they would hold it for like a month. But th their promos would be so watered down, they would look disgusting. But every Briscoe promo is just an epic promo from the great Jay Briscoe, you great man up there. Reach for the sky, boy! Man, the Briscoes cutting promos. Fucking epic. ECW. EC fucking W. Everybody cursed in that fucking federation. Everybody. Taz. I mean, come in here, Shane. Get you. Get in here. I mean, Shane Douglas curses like a sailor, right? You, you, you curse like a sailor. You know you want to fuck Francine and everything, you know. You know, you t I mean, Shane Douglas tells it like it is, right? I mean, if you don't, Shane, you can tell him, right? Like, if you don't like it, you can suck my ass! You know? Pretty much. Not that way, but you know what I mean. That's what he said. So, if you want to take it up with him, then take it up with him. Don't take it up with me, I'm just repeating what he said. But yeah, pretty much. Shane Douglas was cursed like a sailor. Paul, Paul E. Fucking Paul Heyman. He's like the king of cursing. In ECW and now. Well, he doesn't curse now. But you know that, you know when he has that Hall of Fame speech, he has it all ready to go. And he has a live mic. It's not on TV per se, so it's not going to be on the USA Network when they replay it. They're going to heavily edit that. Heavily. It's in Philly, so you know he's going to curse like a sailor. I don't give a fuck on New York, you know. I can't wait for that fucking speech. Because it's going to be fucking epic. 
And rightfully so, Heyman goes to the Hall of Fame in Philly. The wise man. That's what he is. He's, he's our wise man. He's a tribal chief's wise man. Roman Reigns. That's that. But yeah. Paul Heyman, freaking epic on the mic, cursing up a storm. Does, did he get any flack back in ECW? Nope. I mean, he cursed a couple times on 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 um smack a couple smackdowns. Not um not recently, but a few years ago, he was cursing up a storm. He didn't curse up a storm, I say, but he was like, you know, he said a couple of bad words. But did he get fined and suspended? No. Batista like said a couple of curses. Did he get fined? No. But there's been people that got fined. I can't remember the pe- the actual people, but there've been people that say like they what kind of went off script. It's like, oh, you can't see that. You're fined. Five thousand dollar fine. I'm like, chump change to me. But yeah, I mean. All these this these talents like oh he can say shit he can say fuck blah 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 right yeah and Rock cursed at the WrestleMania press conference saying like, oh you better fix this fuck you I'm gonna knock you the fuck out and like I mean last night he says you gotta be shitting me they bleeped it obviously. Obviously, because it's Fox, fucking local fucking TV. You know, Rock's cursing on Twitter. He's cursing on Instagram. Oh, no, we can't do that. You know, Cody would love to come back on Twitter and try to, you know, curse out The Rock. (laughs) It failed miserably, but I digress. So anyway, let me... Let me, uh... Talk about this fucking memo that was sent. And this is exclusive. Uh... Alright, so, Nick Khan, Nick Khan, man, Paul Levesque, the game, Triple H, Dan Vitrell, whoever that fucking bitch is, sent out a memo the other week about how talent needs to adhere to PG guidelines on TV and also on social media. The Rock, like most things in his life at this point, is getting a bit of special treatment, obviously, because he's the Rock, as he's the boss. He's the, he's the, he's, you know, the head guy of TKO, so he can do whatever the fuck he wants. You don't like it? Too fucking, too fucking mad. Tough shit. Go to AEW. You can curse up there, too. Tony Khan doesn't have that problem. I mean, you could say fuck shit while they bleep it, of course, but... Like, ah, you're a pussy. You know, I remember when Jack Perry called, I think it was Jericho, or MJF a pussy. On live TV. But he didn't bleep pussy. But they, they'll bleep, like, goddamn. They bleep fuck, obviously, for FCC reasons, but... But, yeah, fuck the FCC. And, um, that's... F- for, for radio and TV purposes, for the internet... Don't get me started with that. I don't want, you know... With that in Congress and that... That shit going on. Where they're thinking about taking out the internet for a lot of people. Not me, per se, but... But anyway, that's another story for another time. Because I want to get rid of uh, the internet for uh, you know, people yeah, that program for low-income families. I don't have that program because I don't need it. I pay my own money. I pay. A, I pay a heft. I don't pay a lot for my muffler. I mean, my internet. I pay a nice single locked-in price. I know it goes up a little bit every six to twelve months, but still, I pay a pretty good price. And the same thing for my, you know, for the rich man's take cable. So, I don't pay a lot. I don't pay a lot. And I, I'm able to pay it because I have a job. But not that much. Alright, so, WWE is under the TKO banner in a publicly traded company. They also need to adhere to P- TV PG guidelines. That being said, there seems to be an exception to the rule because it's the rock. And it's really getting under a lot of talent skin. Uh, so The Rock's promos where he keeps cursing, including opening up his social media promo this week with, are you fucking kidding me about Cody 
has rubbed some people the wrong way. There seems to be a feeling that we are seeing a double standard because we're talking about Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Uh, Rock's getting away with dropping pretty much everything in the book. So, well, except the end bomb and, you know, certain other things. But anyway, uh, he can say it on social media. He was, like I said, he cursed last night. He cursed last week, too. Uh, well, the rest of the roster are wearing PG handcuffs. Uh, the talent are asking why the Rock gets a pass. Uh, the thinking is that even if he is the big movie star, shouldn't everyone play by the same rules so he can curse and use that to get over, but everyone else is handcuffed? I mean, they, I mean there's, there's a good point here, but it's the way censorship is. The way censorship is, my friends. Uh, uh, then it just goes, uh, this, this article just goes into uh, night one of WrestleMania. Uh, also mentions Via Maya Via, the grandmother of The Rock. She is now being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, I didn't do a video about it because I didn't think it was important, but that's great for, you know, it's great that. You know, The Rock's grandmother was going in because she did a lot for Polynesian wrestling. You know, we've seen it on on, um, on The Rock's TV show. So we got that. That's where, like, Junkyard Dog and, you know, and, uh, you know, Andre started his career down there. Rock's father, you know. The high Chief Peter Maya Villa, you know, Rocky Johnson, Soul Man, Rocky Johnson and everybody. You know, even Ric Flair went down there. It's crazy enough. Um, who else? Uh, the Iron Sheik. Sheiky, baby. Bye-bye. Uh, the Batumian in his series. Yeah. This is before WWF at the time. So, all those came pretty much from Lair. So we move on with that. So that's pretty damn nice for the Rock's grandma. Um, we see if there's anything else in this article. Uh, of no. Uh, well, the Rock uh, will be after Mania. He's going to be. Uh, his next movie is called The Smashing Machine. Uh, so it's shooting on May the first. So after Mania, he's not probably going to not not going to be on TV, so if he does have another match, it probably won't be to maybe SummerSlam, or he might take the rest of the year off and then train till maybe WrestleMania 41, whenever that Roman match is going to happen, because you know it's going to happen, so, you know, get ready for possibly SummerSlam in uh, beginning of August, or they go all the way to WrestleMania 41, which may be, might be in, uh, me. Be in Minnesota. Don't know yet, but we'll see. Uh, we got that. They wanted to do it uh, Memorial Day weekend in Saudi Arabia. I doubt that might happen, but it could, I mean it could with you know the blood the blood money that the blood the uh, the Saudi prince has. He's like, oh, Rocky, come here. He gives you blood money, ha. Huh? You know, Roman got that at Night of Champions last year. Last time he actually got pinned, that, that was by, uh, I think it was by Jey Uso, but that was on a tag team match, that don't count as singles matches, that don't count, but in any case, Rock's, I mean, Roman's not going to get pinned in that tag team match, not even close, and I highly doubt he gets pinned at WrestleMania, because Cody ain't the guy, Cody can go fuck himself, and his Cody crybaby bitch fans can, can pretty much, pretty much kiss his ass too, and the Rock's. But we all know the Rock's turn is coming. We all know it. He's just playing us right now. He's roasting Cody Rose, but it's just you know the gas up head, you know gas up Roman's head, and everybody in the bloodline pretty much, and the fans like, oh yeah, the Rock's great. He's gonna help Roman. I still think Seth Rollins is costing Cody, whether it be on night one or night two. I hope it's on night two, but I care less if it happens on night one. I'm like, well, that's obvious. Night one, yeah. Fuck you, Cody. I don't want to team with you. 
How about this? How about Cody turns on Seth Rollins? Because basically, Seth Rollins accepted the match, and he didn't even have a uh, say in it. He's like, what? Remember that. Remember that. Cody don't forget. I'm not Cody. Sorry. Seth don't forget that he lost three times to fucking Cody Rhodes. He might be, you know, buddy-buddy with him now. Like, oh yeah, the, the landscape of WWE of wrestling has to change at Mania. It needs to end. Nope, it ain't gonna end. The Avengers storyline is bullshit storyline. Like, Cody is fucking Captain America or Iron Man. Like, he's gonna take the Infinity Gauntlet away from Roman. <laughs> right? Right. And Seth's not gonna do any... Seth's, Seth's gonna lose his belt to Drew McIntyre on night two. And then, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna be pissed from night one. So he's gonna come into this match with Roman and Cody, which is probably gonna be bloodline rules. So he's gonna come in, and he's gonna fuck Cody over and help his shield brother, because that's what brothers do. He's gonna fuck Cody up. But then again, Seth... I mean, Rock is like, oh, that ain't gonna happen. Fuck you, clown boy! But, we got all that. But anyway, uh, my overall thoughts about this article... I think some of, the, some of the talent is, I mean, they have a point. I think they need to shut up. <laughs> some of them need to shut up. Because, I mean, yeah, wrestling... Mainstream wrestling should have people cursing up a storm. Not, not you know. But I know you gotta adhere to the FCC bullshit. But most of wrestling now is on uh, cable. And cable, you can say pretty much everything on cable now. Just, we can't say, oh, we can't say it because NXT's going to Channel 11. They, you know, they're not gonna curse up a storm. F uh... Local TV ain't gonna have, uh, well, Channel 11 is local, but, but, you know, SmackDown's going to USA, so, you know, that's gonna be heavily edited, but, I, I pretty much think, you know, the FCC could just shove it up their ass, and this memo that Tony Khan and Triple H and Dan Fertrell, whoever that guy is, and, um, you know, put out to the WWE talent, I think it's bullshit. Because if I was working there, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I mean, yeah, I'll adhere to it, but I'm like, pfft. If I'm in a heated feud with somebody, like, say, Cody, Cena, Orton, whoever it may be, even Roman himself, I'm like, I'm not holding back. I am not holding back. And I'll, I would say that to whoever. It's like, oh, you better, you gotta hold back a little bit. No, yeah, I was, like my first promise, like, oh, you, you know, like, Roman, you talked about my family, well, I'm gonna talk about yours, your fucking mom is a fucking slut. I would talk about the, the I mean, I would talk about Roman's wife and how bad I want to, you know, say, you talk about missionary position and everything, it's like, well, on the, on my island, we, we do it raw dog, and we fucking, you know, I will beat her ass, you know. I show show what a real tribal chief is, something like that. And then I go, I get in the back, and I have to hear from Hunter like, "Oh, you went way, uh, you're way over the line there." And I'll go to Hunter like, "Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck." So what are you gonna do? Find me, Hunter? Go ahead, find me a hundred thousand dollars. I don't give a shit. I would just say I'm unscripted, I'm uncensored. So if you don't like it, fire me. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if fucking USA Network finds me up the wazoo. You can't censor me. Free speech, motherfuckers. It's free speech. And that's what wrestling should have. Free fucking speech. Fuck the FCC. Fuck censorship for that matter. And fuck these memos from idiots like Nick Khan. And Hunter. Fuck that shit. Fuck PG. Wrestling was so good back in the 90s during the Attitude Era. You had sex. You had girls showing their titties and everything. It was not pussy, obviously, but still. It was great TV. And then I had to tone it down a little bit. 
during the 2000s when the Ruthless Aggression era, you didn't see much of that. And then, who comes in? John Cena! With his PG era bullshit. What we're gonna do for the kids? And then Linda McMahon, another bitch. Turn, turn wrestling from TV 14 or TV MA to TV PG. It really killed the WWE. Turning it to, to a PG era product. And thank God they didn't go to, they didn't get bought out by Disney. Oh, that would have been really bad. That would have been horrific for the WWE. Catering to the kids and then, you know, Mickey Mouse comes out. Hi, kids! You know? You know, freaking Mickey Mouse and Goofy on commentary, you know? And then they have a storyline, you know, Mickey's... Mickey... Mick, sorry, Mickey. Minnie, Minnie's cheating on Mickey because she's fucking Goofy. I know it's a bad joke, but I don't give a shit. But something like that. You would hear like like Roman cutting a promo. Suffering second hash going up the beanstalk. I'm like, what is that? That's the PG era bullshit promos we got. I mean, it's 2024. Why are we still in the PG era? I don't even know what era we're in. I call it the bullshit era because everything's bullshit right now. Can't curse, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, just, oh, just, the rock's cursing up a storm, we can't do it. Yeah, I have a, you got a point, you got a great point. Why does he get the curse? We can't, we have to follow his procedure. Here's, here's what you can follow, right here. To the, to the, to the FCC and to that memo. Fuck you, man. That's it. That's all I gotta say about that. So, leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you guys think of this memo from the WWE? This double standard where, like, The Rock's getting a free pass and all the other talent can't curse and up, up a storm and all that shit. Do you think wrestling should have more promos cursing up a storm? Just leave me your thoughts down below, and that's all I gotta say about that. Alright, Collision's coming on. And I gotta go, so I will be uh, back later with my SmackDown and Rampage review, but I'll talk about Collision tomorrow. Uh, got a couple more videos coming your way. SmackDown and Rampage, Ring of Honor, and TNA, so a lot of business to attend to tonight. So, uh, check out my Killer Demons channel. Everything will be on there, SmackDown, Rampage. SmackDown, Rampage, Ring of Honor, TNA, all tonight. So, Fatal 4-Way videos tonight if I don't fall asleep before then, but we'll see what happens with all right, time to watch Collision. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please like the video and uh, give me your thoughts down below. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, fuck the FCC, fuck the WWE, fuck Nick Khan, fuck Paul Levesque, fuck the FCC. That's all I got to say about that. Free speech, motherfuckers. Free speech. And that's it. Until next time, go fuck yourselves. And fuck you, man, if you're not down with that. Until next time, peace!